and it's time for this week's First Impression Friday video. I'm so glad to be getting back into doing these. I feel like I haven't done one in weeks because of the holiday season, but now it's January. Happy New Year! Today I'm going to be doing a very, very requested First Impression Friday, and that is a first look at the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid to Matte Lipsticks. I think that they are technically referred to as Wet to Dry. Right now the lipsticks are available in three shades and this is what the packaging looks like. It's very bright pink neon. The three shades are a pink shade, very very vibrant bright pink, which is called Prom Night. Then you have the red color, which is called Red Rum. And then you have the purple color, which is called I'm Royalty. These are available on Jeffree Star's website. They are $18 a piece. I do have a little bit of bad news. The red one, Red Rum, is currently sold out and normally you can get a three pack bundle if you want all of the colors. And I think it saves you like a couple bucks off of each one, but currently the bundle is sold out as well. So right now you can only get the pink color and the purple color. I have all three today, so I'm gonna swatch them for you. Normally these types of products do have a little bit of a staining quality, so I'm going to try and test out the colors from lightest to darkest so we kind of see the true pigmentation of each one. It doesn't really have a distinctive smell, you know, like if you're familiar with MAC lipsticks, they smell very vanilla, cupcake-y, and some lipsticks are very floral. This really doesn't have a fragrance to it, it just smells like cosmetics, like lipstick. I'm gonna set a timer and see like how long the process takes to go from wet to dry. Some products, it's kind of an instantaneous thing. Most wet to dry products at least take a couple of seconds. So I thought I would apply it and then see how long it takes to go from being wet to dry. Here's what it looks like after I've just freshly applied the product. So you can see that it's still a little bit glossy and a little bit wet. And here's what it looks like after being on my lips for two minutes, which I would have to say is how long it took for the product to actually dry and set. Time to switch colors. So let's find out how easy this is to remove. I just have a regular makeup remover wipe. You definitely have to wipe with force, but after a couple passes with the makeup remover wipe, I do see it coming off and not really leaving too much of a stain. I do feel like removal was a little bit of a process and I don't really feel like it so much stained my lips but I do feel like kind of when I was wiping with the makeup remover wipe that it did stain like maybe around the corners or the edges of my mouth so if you see a little redness don't be alarmed. I have really sensitive skin and I think I was like rubbing too much but this is why I never bothered to wear foundation or other makeup on lipstick swatching days. Next let's test out the red color which is Red Ram. I just love that name. Big fan of The Shining. So I don't feel like this is the neatest swatch that I've ever done in my life. I feel like I went a little bit out of the lines, like my face is a coloring book. Here's a swatch with the red color while it is still in its liquid form. And here is a swatch of the red color when it is dried and matte. And for the sake of science, I went ahead and just retimed this color in case the pigmentation made any slight difference in drying time. But it was still right around that two minute mark when this color went from liquid to dry. And I just have to say I am really excited to add this red color to my collection. I am a collector of red lipstick products and I am very very particular about what types of reds I like to wear. So I'm very very happy that this is a really classic nice blue red. It's definitely not like an orangey red. There's nothing orange about this. I feel very happy in my red lippy. Next I'm going to be trying the purple color which I'm honestly most excited about just because it looks so awesome every time I've seen it on Instagram and it's definitely just like a very unique lip color. I don't think that you see a really royal bright purple lip color too often so I save the best for last. 
I really do not have a wet to dry comparison shot for you guys for this one because honestly this shade I'm not sure if the pigmentation has something to do with it or not but it pretty much dried instantly as I applied it no two minute wait time like there was for the other two shades. I absolutely love this color. I think it looks awesome. I think it is so much fun. I'm just not sure how well it looks on my personal face. Sometimes I think having blue eyes really kind of makes different colored things look really weird or kind of like clash, not go together very well. What do we think about this? Like purple lip, blue eyed combo. Is it a good look? Should we call Vogue? So I saved the best color and the zaniest color to wait and get Dogman in here so we can do the infamous kiss test and see if this lipstick survives kisses or not. Look, it's Captain Dog. Oh, they can't see. Wait, you gotta duck so they can see your Captain hat. Captain Dog, Captain Dog. You're purple. Do you think this is a good look for me? Blue eyes, purple lips, or is it too much? Too much for Roy G. Depends Biff. on what else you got going on. Yeah, I There's look the, like uh, orange. No, <laughs> I'm not doing all the Roy G. Biv, but I feel like my face is like a rainbow if I wear like too many colors. Like if I okay, blue eyes, and let's think about this, okay? Because I would have on black mascara, blue eyeballs. If I wore color eyeshadow, pink blush, violet mouth. That's like the rainbow on my face. <laughs> Are you ready for the kiss test? Do you want a purple mouth? Ooh, clean cheek. No residue whatsoever. Okay. Okay, hey, totally clean. And the product still looks exactly the same on my mouth. Like nothing rubbed off, nothing smeared. Are you impressed? Yeah. This is like the greatest kissable product we've ever tested. No, nothing. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for joining us today with special guest Dogman. I'm pretty excited. We finally found a 100% kiss proof product for the mouth. Definitely, if you are a person who likes to eat or drink or kiss while wearing lip products, you may want to get your hands on some of these. Normally, I do feel like I have the best results for like kissing and eating and things like that when I wear these liquid to matte type products. Definitely, if you're looking for really awesome, unique, vibrant colors and you love matte feeling products, I think you would be very impressed with these. I hope in the future that more colors come out because I would definitely wear them and I would definitely purchase them. So I really have no complaints about these whatsoever. I hope you guys are not sick of first impression lipstick products. I think that you probably are by now. I've been doing a lot of Pinter test, a lot of first impression Friday on different lip things, but what can I say? I love lip products. I also try and get through y'all's requests and a lot of requests lately have been about lip products. So if you're sick of seeing lip products and you'd like for me to test out something different on next week's or future week's First Impression Friday videos, do me a favor and comment down below. Leave me a suggestion of a makeup or beauty product that you would like for me to test out and I will go get it and we will first impression it together. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and I wish you all the happiest, healthiest, and most awesome of brand new years. I'm so excited for 2015. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.